This car has rain sensing wipers. Let's try it out. Guess it's not raining enough. Now we've gone ahead and turned the system on the proper way and look what happens now. Very nice. So you just got a car with rain sensing wipers. At least that's what the brochure said. But the second your car got wet, nothing happened. Well, there's nothing wrong with you, so do not panic. In today's video, we're explaining all things rain sensing wipers. We'll talk about how they work, how you can make sure that they're on, and also give a couple tips. Let's get right into it. First things first, let's talk about what they are and how they work. Well, number one, as the name suggests, rain sensing wipers will pick up moisture or condensation buildup on your windshield and automatically trigger the wiper blades. But it's not that simple and that's why you guys should watch the entire video. The way it'll actually work is by using the sensor located in the center of our windshield. Now, depending on your manufacturer, it may have a separate location, but for Kia and Hyundai, it's right above our active safety camera. Of course, there's certain models that do not have this function. Maybe a lower trim line won't have it, but if you see that little function there, or that little sensor, that indicates that we've got it on this car. It actually has nothing to do with the wipers themselves. These are just our standard Aeroblade style wipers. It is simply a sensor. Now the sensor itself is broken up into two main components. Number one is an infrared light. Now that light is going to beam towards the sensor itself. And if there's no obstruction like water, it's perfect. It's a dry windshield. You don't need any wipers active. Now, if there was moisture, snow or rain on your windshield, that would scatter the image and the sensor would pick that up, thus triggering your wipers to come on. From there, we'll actually show you guys how to make sure the system is functioning and of course some tips and tricks as well as some minor adjustments. Let's get into it. So here's how you can make sure your auto wipers are on. First, you're gonna locate your wiper stock. All of our Kia and Hyundai vehicles have it on the right hand side and we'll tip it upwards to move it to its next position. There's also a handy display on your gauge cluster that shows you what you've selected. So we have high, low, auto, and then off. Now there's a good chance that if you started driving and noticed that your wipers never went off when it started raining, you probably had your wipers set to the off function and not auto. Auto essentially puts it in a standby and then as soon as those sensors pick up moisture, then it'll trigger the wiper blade. This is extremely helpful and convenient, but there are also some fine tunings we can do to change it and make it a little bit more custom to your liking. So I'll show you guys how to do that. You'll notice on the wiper stock here, we have this small ring, or I guess I should say switch. You can change the intensity of your auto wipers once you're in the auto section. And then all you have to do is tip this upwards or downwards. As you can see, this bar graph will fill up or fully illuminate to show a full or high sensitivity. And then it can bring it all the way down for a lower sensitivity. This will just adjust the speed and how frequently the auto wipers will wipe your screen. So you can have it on auto, but also still make some customized changes. Very, very helpful. And on top of adjusting the speed and sensitivity, here's a few other tips, or I guess just preventative measures you can take with your rain sensing wipers. Number one is to try to keep your windshield relatively clean. What I mean by that is if your car is absolutely caked in mud, that sensor is gonna be completely obstructed, so it's not gonna read anything. And thus, your rain sensing wipers will not work, or maybe they'll constantly be on. Another thing is automated car washes. So car washes where you're staying in your vehicle and your vehicle is on. If you have your auto wipers set to being active, they're gonna go. And that can cause a lot of damage to your vehicle, rip off your wiper blades, you don't want that. So make sure the second you go into an automated car wash or before that you turn off the auto or rain sensing wiper feature and put it to off. With that being said, make sure once you're done, you put it right back into auto or else you'll experience the same problem we had at the beginning of this video. They won't do anything. Now, if you guys have auto wipers or rain sensing wipers in your vehicle, let me know if you like them and if you've ever run into any, you know, car wash situations. And as always, follow along, make sure you subscribe for more videos just like this one. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.